So maybe you're wondering how I did the research for the Black Mambas book. Um, I have to tell you, I love doing research. This is one of my favorite parts of making a book. Um, I'm naturally a learner and a curious person, and every book that I make, I get to just geek out and learn a lot about a topic, and I think that is so much fun. And part of it is, I like to look in all kinds of different um, ways to find information. So I love YouTube videos, and there's a lot of YouTube videos about the Black Mambas, so I watched basically every one that is out there. Um, I also like to watch documentaries, and there's um, a couple of different films about the Black Mambas, and also about other women's anti-poaching units. Uh, I love to listen to podcasts. I love to read articles online. Um, there weren't any other books about the Black Mambas that I was aware of, so that was kind of exciting to be thinking about making the first book, or at least the first um, children's book that was featuring the Black Mambas. Um, because I'm a photographer, I'm also somebody who likes to visualize and see pictures of what I'm, I'm researching, and so I always keep lots of folders on my computer and I just collect photos. And, um, uh, you know, those photos don't always go into the book, um, but they get me thinking about, and I can see, you can often see in a picture a lot of what's going on that maybe you didn't read about anywhere. Um, also, the, the Black Mambas, they do a really good job with social media, like on Instagram and Facebook, and so there's always constantly new information that um, they're putting on their social media so I can learn about new things. And they also work with kids. So there's something called the Bush Babies Program. And so that's all about all the work that they do with kids. And so that was something else that I could research. And once I had done a lot of research um, I, and I felt like I knew a lot about the Black Mambas, then I actually contacted them in person. And I sent them an email and I asked them if they would give me permission to write a book about them or, or with them. And when they said yes, then we started setting up interviews. So I actually set up meetings with a number of the different rangers and I, and I had questions prepared and I talked with them and asked them questions. And sometimes um, I'd ask them a question and then they would say something and that would lead me to a different question that I didn't even have written down as my list of questions, and so we would talk about that. But I also had to be very careful about not making the interviews too long because I wanted to respect their time and knew that they needed to do their work. And then the best part was I actually got to go to South Africa and I got to meet the rangers in person. And I got to experience firsthand um, everything that they do, and I tried to do as many things that they do so I could experience that and understand what it's like. And then I took all of that information home with me and it was, there was so much, so many notes and so many things going on in my head. And so to organize that, I created a mind map or sort of like a graphic organizer where I started to say, you know, all of the kind of main different uh, parts of their job and parts of who they are. And then in each one of those um, titles on my mind map, I started to add in all of the little information that I had gathered. And once I had that mind map, then I started to put together a story. 